suitcase, whiteboard, bags. There is one, busy working. So it's New Year's Eve, I've got one week left for my exams, like one week and two days or something left till my exams. Um, and I basically just started revising today. So let me show you. This is CSIM. Uh, CSIM stands for Clinical Science and Investigative Medicine. So basically it's stuff like immune cells, cancer, inflammation, fractures, hepatitis, infections. It's 108 pages long and I need to get that printed out today. Um, I'm gonna spend today just reading through and editing, just see like formatting the notes. So like making sure that the pictures are where they need to be, uh, just to see like the notes, if everything's correct, like no spelling mistakes and that. These are the days that I've basically wasted. And for the last week of my holidays, I've wrote down what I want to do. So CSIM is basically one strand and we have life cycle, MIC, CSIM, TSM. So I think that's four, five strands in total. Um, but CSIM in this exam is the biggest strand. So like my notes for this are 109 pages, but the other one for the other strand is like 30 pages long. So it's uh, Friday night. I think the time is half 11 at night. I'm very, very tired. Uh, I'm at Wolverhampton Library, the university one. It's 24 hour library and revision isn't really going that well. I've got two days left. I'm driving back up the uni tomorrow. That's like three hours wasted just on a bloody journey. So it's a Saturday and I'm back at uni. Hey. Big man. My mum's dropped us a care package. So there's lentil curry, chicken curry, some rice, oh my. Right. salad and everything. A nice mocha in a 1950s original sir, ceramic sir, sir, cup. I believe it's chic 1940s. Lamb bread, chicken, half a chicken, bit of salad, got me lamb breads. While I'm revising HIV, this is how HIV binds to your T cells. It's the morning of the exam, um, and I've got like 10 or 15 minutes to get ready, so I'm in a bit of a rush. Um, otherwise I would have vlogged the whole thing um, but yeah it's nine o'clock now and I've got to get there in like 10 or 15 minutes so basically I'm gonna quickly eat breakfast uh, and that's it I think oh yeah and have a coffee before I go so today I had my first exam um, it was the Dipsy exam so basically it's like data interpretation um, the topics that the exam was on was like brain uh, the the brain, menstruation, immune cells, cancer, uh, stuff like that basically. And I'm not gonna lie, it was a proper hard exam because I wasn't really expecting like half the questions that came up. So, and 
I didn't have enough time to revise the brain so and the brain is a huge topic but because I was running out of time I just thought like realistically I'm gonna have to skip a few of the topics so I skipped the brain um, and it was so hard as well like the brain is just when you're revising it it's, it's so complicated you need to spend a lot of time on it so I thought if I skip the brain and then do the other subjects like I can spend more time on the other subjects and um, try and pull my grade up using the immune system because I preferred the immune system or revising the immune system and the immune system um, there's a, there was a lot more questions there were a lot more questions on the immune system in the exam uh, other than that though the exam was already like it wasn't I kind of like obviously the night before the exam you stress and you you're thinking you think the worst so I was thinking like oh this exam is gonna be a killer so like last night I couldn't sleep I tried to sleep at like I think I went to bed at half 11 or something and I got to bed probably like two so medicine exams are not like A levels like A level exams fair enough it's not as stressful but medicine exams like imagine like for A-level exams, I was prepared. Like, I, I well, most most of the time, I, I was probably prepared. I'd done so many past papers and everything. For medicine exams, first of all, there's no past papers, and secondly, there's so much content. Like, you you realistically, you just can't you just can't learn everything. So you you're there skipping topics and and things like that, and it feels bad, but. You just it's like a lot of it is guesswork like oh what do i think is going to come up in the exam or which topic should i pay a bit more attention to um so that's that's how my first exam went uh tomorrow i've got the mcq so multiple choice questions i've just had my last exam today it was a lot better than yesterday's exam but still i reckon if I did a bit more revision, um, I could have done a little bit better. But the thing is, if I fail this January exam, it'll be like a kick up the backside, so it'll make us work harder for the next exams. 